So I was walking around getting sunburn the other day and I happened to bump into a chap from the International Guild of Knot Tires. He seemed very enthusiastic and gave me loads of useful information including this wonderful piece of documentation, the quarterly newsletter from the International Guild of Knot Tires containing just an incredible amount of information about tying knots and a frankly adorable section at the end instructing all of the guild members about what social media is. It, it, it's, 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 it tries. It tries. So based on the sheer enthusiasm of this friendly gentleman alone, I thought I would have a go and see what happens if I learn not tying. One of the projects is actually quite cool. Like it's a, it's, it's making a belt, which I don't think I'm going to be able to do today, but at some point. So in an effort to answer the question asked by literally the own International Guild of Knot Tires flyer, where's the fun? Come on, stand up for your interests a little bit more than this. I'm going to try a few of the simple projects that the friendly chap... I wish I could remember what the friendly chap's name was. I think he was the main representative for the International Guild of Knot Tires in Dorset. He even gave me, like, quite a lot of cord to play around with. Their website seems to have quite a lot of stuff on different sorts of knot and basics, so I'm going to go through some of these things. So the first one I'm going to look at is the UKC Cadet Cord Requirements for their knots. Cadets apparently have to be able to do all of these knots. Let's do them. Let's see what I can do. Right, overhand knot. You just sort of do that, and then I think you're golden. Then we've got figure of eight knot. Yeah, that, and then you do, and then I think you, yeah, figure of eight knot. Boom. I think I've been taught that before. Reef knot. You go up and then round through. And you've got a reef knot. And then a round turn and two half hitches. What am I gonna tie this onto? I need a thing. I need a thing that I can hook it onto and whatnot. No, don't have anything. But it doesn't actually teach you them, it just tells you the names. I think what it does is it goes over and then it goes round like, and you've got a thing like that. A very useful general purpose hitch to a spa or ring. I have no idea what any of those words mean, but I've said them now, so I don't have to say them again. Rolling hitch. Go away and away and then I mess that that way. That goes, and then you've got that, goes there. Yes, I think that is a rolling hitch. But these all seem a bit practical. I wanted to make a thing. So the next simple project it seems to have is something called a flat knot bracelet, or a square knot bracelet. So let's see, two one meter pieces of jute or cotton string. Well, these will have to do. I don't have any cotton string and I don't know what jute is. So let's just do this. Do this. Okay, so make loops 200 millimeters from Core, so 20 centimeters from the core ends. Ooh, hello. Oh dear. Oh dear. I might move you around for a sec. Hang on. Okay, so that one there, and that one there, and then. That looks, that looks like a thing. Looks like I'm not necessarily doing it wrong yet. And then this, and. Oh no, 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 no. So you were. Yes, okay. Yes, okay, right. I think this is a square knot, but it doesn't actually say on the website as far as I've spotted. So that goes core ends to the back. Oh. These, these ends. I think I might end up with quite a substantial bracelet with this. So you're gonna go that way, and then you're gonna go clamp, oh, whoops. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Mm -hmm. Oh, to clamp the core ends, I see. So this goes like this, and then you pull down on those to hold them in place. That's what happens. And then, okay. Uh, uh, stop when the knotted band is long enough to make your bracelet. So that's the one I did. So I now need to go. This one then goes. Oh dear, oh dear, am I doing that wrong? No, 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 that works. And then this one goes. It's actually surprisingly easy to do, I have to say. Really the di most difficult bit about this is that I, for some reason, have chosen that you need to be up there. So my arms are getting tired. Oh no, I've done that wrong. Oh no, 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 I haven't. We're good, we're good, we're good.
So I'm a little loath to cut this off and have this as a bracelet, partly because this is huge. Look at it. Also, I want to use this cord for something else. But that was like five minutes work. That's quite fun. And I think those are square knots, which are a lot of what things like the belt here that apparently uses. Right, let's see what else there is. Another thing on their website is the monkey fist knot, which I've just seen a lot of people do before and I just want to have a go at doing it. So three times over and then you go three times Ah, yeah. Uh, nah. There we go. Three times around like that. In there. Three times through here. Okay, right. Now I just need to tighten this up. Hopefully, if I do that properly, uh, then... Well, I have heard that the difficult bit about making a monkey fist isn't so much the tying of the knot, but how you tighten it so that it doesn't just become a mangled awful thing. Uh, sadly, I've made a mangled awful thing. Mm, well, did you see this bracelet I did? Okay, so the next... It, it, so the next thing that they recommend is a really good starter knot tying project. It's a really unfortunately named Turk's Head Mat. But naming aside, it looks like it might be quite a it just it's a it's a fun knot to do. So let's do the knot. Oh, and he actually he let me take a photo of some instructions on how to do this knot with just a string and your hand. It looks like as things get more complicated, they start pinning bits of knots down and things. I don't have time for that. Okay, got your hand, and then you go like this. That, that. Through, and that's under through there. No, over, under, over, under. Okay, just do that through there. There goes under, under, over, under. Just get through like this. And I think I'll read through all that. Okay, that's Okay, fine. Now what I need to do is tidy it up so that it makes an actual mat. I mean, to be fair. Comparing it to the picture, I don't I don't think I've done too badly, quite frankly. Look at that! Look at that! Fold it around then it should be no, 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 that that was the right way. No. Oh no, it has rotational symmetry in it. Anyway, that for a first go. I love that. I, for some reason, I want to describe this as I'd rather do this than read a book at an airport. I'm quite pleased with it though. ends up with like a fun design. I'm gonna stop that because there's no blood in my hand anymore. As someone who feels reasonably experienced now in trying new hobbies, I'd say the knot tying's done okay, quite frankly. Oh my word, I wanna make this belt at some point. That's gonna be, that might have to be a later video, sadly. For now, I think I'll be happy if I can use this mat design and make a coaster for my tea. Okay, because the internet is a fascinating place, I couldn't figure out how to make this big enough so that I could use it as a coaster, but I have found a YouTube channel called All Tied Up, where an enthusiastic American basically goes over exactly how to do exactly the thing I'm looking up. So. It nearly works. It's not quite right for some reason. Ah, I missed a bit. Does that work as a coaster? Oh, can it? Well, considering this is like an hour or two's work, maybe closer to two, this is quite fun. There are some fun ideas in this that I might have to see what I can do with. It's almost felt like a sort of hobby review. I don't really know. But if you did enjoy this, like and subscribe. And hello to any of the International Guild of Knot Tires who might be about. Of course, having a knot as my coaster is a little bit obscure, but it's not as obscure as what I'm currently using as my coaster, which is a coaster from the Leeds Institute of Particle Science and Engineering, a previous life.